The Force is not with Star Wars. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, uh, check out the subscribe button. It looks pretty good. If you click on it, it does something fun, I promise. If you like the video, give it the thumbs up. And if you don't, like I said, they can't all be winners. Let's move on. Damon Lindelof was uh, hired to write a Star Wars movie that he would not direct, and they already had a director in place. Uh, and now Esquire Magazine just released an article with the writer right now, and he mentions that he was in more than just talks to join Star Wars universe. He was in the Star Wars universe, and then he was asked to leave. Another Hollywood big shot being booted <laughs> from Star Wars. There's a lot of talk about who was in his Star Wars movie, what would this, what was the script for the Star Wars movie. I have a video coming about a little bit later coming out about John Boyega returning as Finn, the mo the rumored John Boyega returning as Finn. I don't think that was Lindelof's plan, and I think that's where things changed. I think he was booted because of the directionless aspect to this one specific Star Wars film. I think that the Dave Filoni film coming, the Mandoverse film, has a direction. I mean, I know we heard reports like, well, it's like grabbing a bunch of characters, seeing what sticks. But there's still a, a bit of a plan. And I think James Mangold, being the writer-director of his Star Wars film, is going to have more of a control on what's going on there. But this one just feels like, oh, let's do a movie with Rey and a new Jedi Order. And they're throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. They have a director, but I still believe that Star Wars look comes from George Lucas, right? George Lucas's vision. George Lucas wrote and directed Star Wars. And then he kind of wrote the next one and then the next one. Then he wrote all the prequels and directed all the prequels. J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, say whatever you want about them. They wrote and directed their movies. Gareth Edwards did not. Ron Howard did not. Gareth Edwards' movie ended up working out. But look who did the show. The, the guy who came in to save Rogue One created an Andor show, which many are hailing as the best Star Wars series that we've got it. Then you have Jon Favreau doing The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. He's been in charge of all that. Dave Filoni doing all of Ahsoka. Star Wars needs to be treated almost as an independent film. One thought process. Go into it and succeed. Because we just saw it with Lindelof. We saw it with Michael Arndt in The Force Awakens. They should have learned this lesson. They did not. As a result, Damon Lindelof is out, which probably, in all fairness, was probably the right choice. If you're sticking with your director, the director's vision has to come first, and the director's got to go if the director's not meeting that vision. But I still believe this is to make room for John Boyega's return. Video coming tonight. Hope you can watch it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. Until next time, may the force be with you.